What's up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Al's Air Software. On today's episode, we're bringing you a review of my absolutely fantastic beast, the KWA Chris Vector Gas Blowback. Okay, so let's have a little look into this and see what we see. So as I said at the start, this is the Crick Vector. This is a Super V design and is originally was built by KWA many years ago. It's the gas blowback version of course. And it's an absolutely fantastic machine and a beast of a gun. Now everyone knows the new AEG is coming out, um, which will be Crytac. But I still think for the recoil and everything the gas blowback, it can't be beat. So at the top of it, with, oh, like it has the Super V system, like I was saying, and it's an exact replica, one-to-one -one replica of the real steel firearm, which is originally changed in 0.45 ACP. Um, <clears throat> all the trades, of course, are fully licensed. But, well, K KWA lost the trades, of course, many years ago, but this one is absolutely perfect to the real steel. The ambidextrous controls, so the back here, this is basically just safe or to shoot. And then of course here you have your fully automatic, two round burst and single shot, which is the both of them switches are actually ambidextrous for both sides. The only thing on the left hand side is your charging handle and your bolt release. It's not ambi, but you can get uh, extensions to bring over the bolt on the other side. For, but for me, I'm a right handed shooter, so I don't mind, it's absolutely perfect. Um, anyone anyway, left-handed, you know, you can overcome it. There is ways around it. Folding stock at the back, of course, and you can adjust the stock a little bit, turn it there. This part of the stock here, you can loosen the Allen keys off and extend it how you see fit. And of course it folds away to the right-hand side of the rifle then and clicks into place nicely. This has a very realistic disassembly with the body pins out, takes down the Super V system, drops out, stuff like that. There's millions of videos online how to do that. I won't really go into it. Um, the flip up iron sights are fantastic as well. They're not really like the MP7 where you'd have kind of a pistol style when they're flat, but when they're up, they're up. And I have them going through the, the zombie stopper, the XPS uh, hollow sight. And then the peg box in the front of that is just something it was a dummy pack box. I added a laser into it, a little laser diode. I added two um, green LEDs into it, then a little switch, toggle switch on the back. It's just kind of like a zombie apocalypse kind of thing. I just threw it on there for the fun of it. It looks nice, fits well, and does what it needs to do. Now I have two mags for that. Both mags are four, 49 round mags. And I've upgraded the valves as well, the top and bottom valves with the high flow teflon code valves just to give it that extra um, lease of life and of course when you're storing your mags always one or two second fill of gas just to keep the seals nice and fresh it's a little tip there to take away for everyone now the upgrades was done on this was uh, the hard kick recoil weight set put in just gives that extra whack and it really feels nice now this is ireland so 328 is the limit you're not going to get a huge whack out of that, but with the recoil weight, it just adds that a bit extra. I have this shooting now at 320 FPS with a 0.2 BB, which is illegal for Ireland. And then, as you can see then, on the trades on the body, the Chris Vector and the Super V in a 0.45, I did it in um, kind of slightly worn, just to add to that kind of zombie feel. I didn't go for the whole distressed look and all that. I like to keep it the way it looks. It looks fantastic. Um, after we added the hard kick recoil set then power up piston head was added in and then I went for the Evo type 4 barrel hop unit and hop rubber as well. Just completely stripped it out just to add that bit of accuracy onto the gun and it really does make a huge difference. When we got the gun it wasn't in good condition at all so new sling point was added. All new body pins had to be bought. Um, the full charge and handle assembly was in ribbons so the whole thing was taken apart new parts put in and uh, then flankers off the web page did a great job he jurocoated the whole body did the rails did the rails on the right hand side and stuff like that 
just to take all the, there was all very bad scratches and stuff like that all over it. Uh, he did a fantastic job and he does great work. Uh, you can see his page on the umbrella page there, just tick on the flanker's head and you can see all the cool stuff that he builds as well. So that's my little look at the the fantastic Chris Vector. And this is the another one of my own personal collection. And as you can see, I give you a sneak little review. There's a little look for what's coming in the future. That's the little, that's the cabinet of all my craziness. So, once again, thank you very much for looking everybody. Don't forget, hit the subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the like button. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on um, the website. It'll be all linked in the description. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all again next time.